Before we get into today's video, you guys should take your privacy seriously. You guys should check out private internet access. Now, the great thing about this VPN is they support gift cards, all major credit cards, Bitcoin, and PayPal. They also support iOS, Android, Linux, Windows, Mac, and more platforms. Now, they also have 3,000 servers in over 28 countries, so you should never really have a problem with speeds. They have a kill switch, so basically if the VPN disconnects, your internet stops working. You can connect uh, five different devices. You can block ads, trackers, and malware, no traffic logs, unlimited bandwidth, and so on. It is such a nice VPN service. I'm using it. I love it. Link will be below. They got a great deal going. What's going on you guys today we're going to be looking at a great launcher that you guys can load if your box doesn't allow you to load nova launcher top tv launcher top launcher this is a great launcher it's called hala hala launcher or ha launcher okay so you go to the play store type in launch okay as you can see it says tv there is i don't think there's any other version let me see if there is uh, backspace on this. I think there's just a one. Yeah. <coughs> so you're going to come here and you're going to install this. Once you're done installing it, if it doesn't ask to activate it, you're obviously going to go to your system app. So go back here. You can look for Hollow Launcher. You're going to click it and it's going to open up. And you're going to have a nice little looking. Uh, layout, it's going to be different than me, uh, but this launcher has a lot of options and some pretty cool stuff. So with this launcher, if you have TV uh, Android applications installed and you can't see them, this will allow you to actually see them and launch them, which is pretty cool. So you do have a fair bit of settings that you can actually mess with. So as you can see here, you have show all apps. So again, it will show all applications which is also a nice little bonus to obviously have when you're using a launcher. You have settings here, so you have app list, create shortcut, UI theme. So you can mess with the theme here. <coughs> you can create shortcut, shortcuts for stuff. So emulator, uh, web, file, advanced, uh, which is pretty cool. So you have a lot of different options here. Like this is insane what you can do. Uh, again, you have app list, so you can make little groups here, okay? And the cool thing about these is you can even rename these groups. So instead of it saying, oh, no, you actually can't rename that one. I don't know. Let me see, new group. Okay, well, you can create a new group that way and then rename it to something else and move the stuff over. <coughs> so it's pretty cool what you can do. Uh, they have a background that you can set for uh, the groups, which is nice, okay? So you can mess with the app list. You have APK transfer. Uh, you have a lot of different options here. So uh, both have to be discovered on Wi-Fi, as you can see there. You have different things, tap, task scheduler. You have ads, which uh, I don't know exactly what this is because it's grayed out for me. But yeah, it's a pretty good launcher. Again, you can customize these categories. I've customized them, as you can see. I have some apps here, apps here, uh, stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, if you guys, again, are sick of the way your launcher looks, um, you get this and tickle around with it. Again, if you actually want to use this as a home launcher, okay, you have OS settings, which obviously will open up your OS settings. You don't want to click that. You want to go to Hall Launcher, okay? Right at the top here, it says use app as home app. So when you activate this and then back out and go to the, your, your home dash on your Android device, it will ask you what launcher you want to use. You want to pick Hall Launcher and pick always, and then it will always use this as a thing. So you can clear recent items. You have different things here. Password protect stuff, show ads. I got rid of that, okay? So it's pretty... It's pretty cool. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on <coughs> this launcher, comment below. I'll be more than happy to do one on every piece of setting on here. Normally when I do something like this, I 
would review it, but I don't want this video to drag out too long. Uh, this is just a quick little video for you guys who are looking for a decent launcher. Um, you know, if you guys can't install no Nova Launcher or anything like that, this is something that you can give a try to. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. We made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in Main Lake, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace.